My name is Russell Snyder, and this is my Unity Demo Reel. In this video, I'll be walking you through how I generated sounds, music, and integrated them into Unity 5. I worked in the Angry Bots project available for download on the Unity website, and the sounds that I generated as well as the end game is available for download at the links below. I walked around the city of Erlangen in Germany, recording various fans outside of hospital facilities to get a library of whirring and fan noises. I then recorded cooking noises, the sound of steam coming off of a hot pan, as well as running water. I then recorded sounds around my house that I knew would be useful within this project, such as metal on metal impacts that would be applied to the mech feet walking in enemies. Having a background in voice acting, I performed the voices myself. The mech is the strongest enemy in Angry Bots. It is also one of the sonically most complicated, comprised of many different audio sources. I implemented the initial alert. Feet, the missiles launching and impacting, as well as the bullet hits. Having a rather friendly voice, I had to imply various effects in order to make my voice sound angrier and deeper. Intruder alert! I applied a flanger bass resonating body and a pitch shifter in order to create a rich, scary warning noise. I also integrated the SOS pattern from Morse code in order to signal that there is danger. For the mech feet, I used shoes on a wooden chair and pitched them down to make them sound larger. Lacking a bit of oomph, I recorded the sounds of a water carbonator called a soda stream and added it to the feet noises, thus creating a more steampunk sound. For the mech missile launch, I envisioned the missiles being launched out of a tube. So I gave the missile launch sound a bit more of a tube-like sound. To create the enemy explosions, I combined the steam coming off the frying pan with the keys being dropped on a frying pan, and then I reversed the sound of a bus starting up. I then added a final flame whoosh to give the explosion a bit more impact. Fans throughout the game were relatively easy to create once I recorded the fans outside of the hospitals. The airlocks use a combination of the steam, sound that comes from the soda stream discussed earlier, alongside with these whirling noises from the fans. Utilizing Max for Live features in Ableton, I created what I call sound object generators. The goal of these object generators was to create an endless supply of variation on specific sounds. I built two object generators for players' feet, as well as bullet hits. Music heard throughout the game was self-composed, utilizing Native Instruments Complete as well as Ableton Live instruments. I also performed on bass guitar for a background and the high energy solos during the combat scene. 
I drew musical influence from the game Payday 2. I wanted my composition to have a really high energy feel the way that the soundtracks do on the official Payday 2 soundtrack. The implementation of the music system within this game uses an adaptive layered approach. By using a few parameters controlled by game objects, different music loops are called at different volumes. Instead of starting from scratch, I chose to stand on the shoulders of giants by starting with an audio package called Fabric from Tasman Audio. Using parameters to drive a timeline, I was able to dynamically switch between combat music and exploration music. I implemented two different exploration loops, one which is triggered when there is no danger, and the other one when a player enters enemy territory. This way, the audio cues to the player that danger is impending, or there might be something dangerous nearby. When the player ultimately confronts this danger, the combat music is triggered, which jacks up the energy to the next level. After combat is finished, the exploration loop returns back to normal, depending on whether there's still another enemy nearby or not. When the player's health gets low as well, there is a added low health music, which is basically a simulation of a heartbeat with heavy breathing over top. An example of audio code that I implemented is for the health function. If you look at this code snippet, I take the health parameter and I raise the volume of the health music while lowering the other music based on how much of the health is left. Calling audio events using parameters the way that Fabric does is a really great way to decouple the audio system from other scripts that shouldn't have anything to do with audio, thereby implementing a clean separation of concerns. The audio manager that we have implemented uses the singleton programming pattern, ensuring that only one instance of the audio manager will ever exist within the game. Once again, I'm Russell Snyder. I'm a programmer and sonic artist ready to make some awesome games. Check out my portfolio or social profiles linked below to learn more about me or contact me about upcoming projects that I can help you out with. Thanks for watching.